everyone, how are you doing today? I'm really glad that you are finding my video about Halo Beauty's Kiwi Seed Extract Supplement useful. I'm getting a lot of questions in the comment section and I'm trying to answer them as much as I can. But I thought that more than one of you could have those questions and that is why I have decided to start this little series where I answer your questions to the best of my knowledge. I will try to keep these videos short and cover one or two questions in each video. So in this video, we are going to talk about if you can get bromelain from just eating pineapple. What are the possible side effects of bromelain and why you need to listen to me? All right. So first of all, can you get bromelain by just eating pineapples? Yes, you can to some extent. However, the extraction process is usually done from the stems and unripe fruit. Do not go on eating unripe fruit because that can induce like violent vomiting. <laughs> so don't go doing that. Scientists have suggested that you do not get sufficient quantities of bromelain just by eating the fruit. However, when scientists are talking, they are talking therapeutic dosages, which are much higher than what is in Tati supplement. So maybe you can get the dosage from this skin supplement just by eating pineapple. And Dole Lab seems to agree with that. They say that you can get your bromelain requirement by just drinking some pineapple juice, even frozen one. But you should remember that Dole Labs makes money by selling canned pineapples. In general, eating pineapple pineapple is really good for you. It gives you 100% of your daily vitamin C requirement. It's also a good source of manganese, copper, B1, B2, folate, and fiber. So I think the main question is not can you get bromelain from pineapple, but it is actually do you eat pineapple every day? Are you that regular with your diet that you get all your supplements through your diet? So <laughs> answer that for yourself and you can decide whether you want to take, you know, a vitamin supplement or not in general. In terms of side effects of bromelain, in very few cases, it can induce diarrhea, nausea and vomiting. And as I said before, eating too much pineapple can lead to chapped or swollen lips. But besides that, there isn't any proven toxicity to bromelain. So you don't really need to worry about that in very, very high doses. And we are talking 1840 milligrams in a day. There is only 40 milligrams in this supplement can lead to some increased heart rate. But again, 1840 milligrams compared to 40 milligrams. But I thought I should let you know that it is listed as one of the side effects. I should remind you guys that traditionally pineapple is used as an abortion agent. So if you are pregnant, you might want to be cautious. I have a personal friend who ate, I think one full pineapple every day of her pregnancy and that baby is just fine. And she's starting actually school today. So you know, <laughs> it's your body and you are the best judge of it. So make decisions accordingly. I'm linking a very nice web page from drugs.com that I found that gives you a lot of this information in the description box below. So check that out if you're interested. And now the final question is why you need to listen to me. The answer is you don't. You really don't need to listen to me. Actually, you should not listen to me, I would say. You should do your own research. You should read your own documentations. You should ask your own doctor. Please don't go on reading those like popular articles, which just kind of either scare you to death or like really glamorize a product because they are not really giving you true scientific information. Read articles that actually list their scientific sources in the references. That way you can go back to the references and see if the conclusion they are drawing from that particular reference is correct or not, because sometimes it can be wrong. So don't just go on trusting me or anybody else for that matter. Do your own research. If you don't understand science that much, ask your doctor. And that is always the best way to go about any over the counter stuff. All right. Thank you again for joining me in the next video. We will answer more questions. If you have any additional questions, leave them in the comments below. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the little notification bell so that YouTube will inform you when my next videos go up. All right. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <music>